Hey guys, so I wanted to do a quick video on what I've been doing to clear up my skin. Basically, about four years ago, I completely stopped getting acne for two years of my life. I didn't get any hormonal acne anymore, and I didn't think I was going to get acne anymore in my life. Until about two years ago, I started getting like random pimples here and there, and then I started getting some breakouts that would happen occasionally, and then slowly over time, I felt like I was getting some bumpy texture on my cheeks and on my forehead. They weren't really red, but it was like rough texture and I think it was basically congested pores. Now I've been able to manage the acne a lot better. I feel like it's been getting better each day and it started in January that it's been really clearing up and I want to share with you five main things that have helped my skin. So there are three main types of acne. I feel like stress acne, hormonal acne, and acne caused by products. Acne caused by products are the easiest to deal with, I feel like. As long as you cut out those products, your skin will clear up and go back to its homeostasis. So a good way to know which products are breaking you out is whenever you get a new product, don't start using a bunch at the same time. Just use one for about 30 days and then see if it's suitable for, for your skin before trying out something new. And that's what I've been doing with new products to make sure that it's not causing any breakouts for me. Acne caused by stress is also fairly manageable as long as you manage your stress. A couple ways to manage your stress would be to exercise, get great sleep, and just to have balance in your life. Hormonal acne is definitely the most difficult to combat and I feel like most skincare actually do not really help hormonal acne. You would need to do something with your internal health like with your diet, exercise, and you might even need to take something orally like birth control pill or Accutane to really manage hormonal acne because it's coming from within and no matter what top topical treatment you apply on top, I feel like it doesn't really help. So I want to share with you guys what has really helped clear up my skin. I feel like I have all three types of acne. The first thing that I did was I started not wearing as much makeup. I am actually a fashion blogger, so I have to wear quite a bit of makeup for photo shoots, obviously. But on days that I'm not shooting, I make a conscious effort to not wear makeup. And I also work from home since I'm a blogger, so it makes it pretty easy for me to go with days without wearing makeup. And I feel like it has made a huge difference in my skin and helping it breathe. For those of you guys that have to work, if you can, I would just try to avoid applying any makeup and just stick with sunscreen or a moisturizer and just see if it makes a difference on your skin. For me, it really has. Even when I was working at my day job in an office, I first started off wearing makeup every single day and then I just slowly stopped applying any face makeup and I think it really did help. The second thing that I want to talk about is diet. There are a number of things that I did to clear up my skin with diet and the first one being sugar. So sugar, basically, if you think about it, it doesn't have any nutrition, so it's not really good for your health as well, which is another reason why I wanted to cut out sugar. How sugar causes acne is that it raises your insulin response. So this isn't good for those of you that gets acne from stress because it really raises your cortisol, which is what causes you to stress. Another type of food that I actually cut out was dairy. Supposedly dairy has a ton of hormones which is why it causes acne. It also makes your skin more oily. Those of you that get more hormonal type of acne, you should try cutting out dairy and see if it makes a difference on your skin. The third thing that I've done is I try to get as much sleep as I possibly can. And I know that's probably very difficult for those of you that are students and sleeping a lot helps you get better skin because if you don't get enough sleep, again, it raises your cortisol and causes stress acne. I know for a lot of students, like during midterms week and finals, like you would notice more breakouts or pimples. It's because your stress acne is appearing and a huge reason for that is because you're not getting enough sleep. So to lower your cortisol, you should get as much sleep as possible. And I try to get eight hours of sleep every single day. If you are a student, just try to get as much sleep as possible and just time manage better and don't procrastinate 
when you have an exam. Like if you actually study many days in advance, then you wouldn't need to pull all-nighters and thus you would have less breakouts if you think about it. So if you can, just try to get as much sleep as you can consistently. The fourth thing that I've done is lately I've been trying to exercise more. Exercising releases the toxins out of your skin and obviously when you exercise you shouldn't wear any makeup. It really clears up your pores when you're exercising and then you take a shower afterwards. So actually the best way to manage your stress is through exercise because exercise keeps your stress levels low. So exercising really helps with people that get stress acne. So the fifth thing that I've done is skincare. I plan on creating a completely separate video on skincare after I'm satisfied with my skincare routine because I'm still trying a couple new different products. But there are two main products that really helped me with my acne. It's the Mario Badescu Drying Lotion and Nature Republic's Aloe Vera Gel. This is the Mario Badescu Drying Lotion. I just put it on the my spots and they really help make sure that my spots do not get worse. They might not necessarily clear it up right away, but they definitely manage my pimples so that they don't increase in size. I like using this drying lotion because I don't like applying um, like those alcohol toners because it just dries out uh, my entire skin and I don't get acne everywhere on my face. I just get it on mostly my cheek area, so I just like to dab this on the pimples that I get. So I like to just apply this on the pimples that I get and it really targets the specific pimples so that it doesn't dry out my entire skin. I've tried a couple of different aloe vera gel and this is by far the best one that has helped with my acne. I just apply it as a mask or I use it as a moisturizer and I know it contains alcohol so I don't use it on an everyday basis but it's a really good mask for days when you have a breakout. I apply a thick coat and then while I'm watching TV, I'll apply several coats as it dries up. And then later on in the night, you could just sleep with it on or you could wash it off. And this really helps manage my acne as well. That basically sums up my video on the things that I've done that has helped me clear up my skin. If you have any questions about skincare or acne, just leave a comment down below. I'll try my best to answer it. Lately, I've been doing a lot of research on skincare and it's something I'm really passionate about, so I hope to do more skincare videos. Thank you for watching this video and please be sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at Utsunotsui.